Just for today, July 21st, Surrender is for Everyone, page 211. If, after a period of time, we find ourselves in trouble with our recovery, we have probably stopped doing one or more of the things that helped us in the earlier stages of our recovery. Basic text, page 95. Surrender is just for newcomers, right? Wrong. After we've been around for a while, some of us succumb to a condition particular to old-timers. We think we know something about recovery, about God, about N.A., about ourselves, and we do. The problem is we think we know enough, and we think that merely knowing is enough. But it's what we learn and what we do after we think we know it all that really makes the difference. Conceit and complacency can land us in deep trouble. When we find that applying the principles on our own power just isn't working, we can practice what worked for us in the beginning, surrender. When we find we are still powerless, our lives again unmanageable, we need to seek the care of a power greater than ourselves. And when we discover that self-therapy isn't so therapeutic after all, we need to take advantage of the therapeutic value of one addict helping another. Just for today, I need guidance, support, and a power beyond my own. I will go to a meeting, reach out to a newcomer, call my sponsor, pray to my higher power. I will do something that says, I surrender. Just for today, July 21st. Please help support the work by liking, following, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks.